Hey guys, so we finally broke even on a box. So let's do a few more boxes to see if we can break even again. So this is Exodus medicine bag. Mindless automation. This card used to be in a theme deck. I remember it very well because I liked it. Sky Shaper. Litz. I just need to find a set where it's all just, um, what's I'm gonna call it? Slivers. It's all the valuable ones are the workhorse. I believe this is part of a combo. I believe this is the $5 we have right here and that it is part of a combo. Uh, it comes in play with four plus one plus one counters. Remove a plus one plus one counter. Add one colors mana. I'm pretty sure this is part of a combo. I'm going to put it here. And if it is, it's probably more than a dollar. Keeper of the Dead, probably the uh, least, most beautiful keeper. So, oh, Killer Whale. Let's go ahead and check up some more. I'm guessing this is just Exodus. Maybe we can hit on, you can see like how many, just if you hit on them. If he left in any good cards, we would be very good. This one's actually very interesting. Whenever it comes in play, move all plus one plus one counters onto Spike Cannibal. I'm not sure if this is valuable, but with all these Atraxa decks running around, I mean, it could be valuable. I'm not sure. What Spike Cannibal? With all those Atraxa decks running around and all of the money that like, is, I'll just leave it here. But it might be, um, it might be something quite valuable. I'm not positive. But the Workhorse, there is an infinite combo, I believe, from Machaeus, the Undead. But Spike Cannibal, I mean, that seems really interesting. It, it takes everyone's plus one, plus one counters on it. I mean, I don't I don't know. It seems like it would be OP in EDH's uh, dungeon. Any player may pay five life during his or her upkeep. Uh, choose and discard a card. Target player chooses a card in his or her hand and puts that card on top of his library um, during his or her turn. Oh, so this is interesting because you can play as much on your turn as possible. Uh, this is used to be the one of the best cards. Yes, I mean, it sounds kind of fun. Keeper to Mind has actually really uh, interesting artwork if you look at the full artwork. So that Cannibal thing, I'm not positive, but it could, it could be worth a ton. Because every card related to a Traxxer has just skyrocketed into oblivion. Mana Breach, you can see the different colors. Even back then, it was uh, very different color-wise. Oath of Scholars. Uh, ooh, Drifters, two in a blue. Townfolk, okay, and it's kind of weird for Townfolk. Choose and discard a card, it gains Shadow. Treasure Trove, one of the better card mechanics. Cartograph, and Crashing Boars. Yeah, I think that spike feeder, like the more I think about it, the more valuable it gets because I'm like, huh, that, po that can't possibly be a not valuable card, right? Because with all the Atraxa decks. I'm gonna look it up later. Elvis Pallid, not the best card, Keeper of the Beast, also a very beautiful card. Resurrect, Regeneration, War Beast. This used to be so OP. I mean, this was the Tamagoyf before Tamagoyf. Song of Serenity, creatures with enchantments on them cannot attack or block. That was a fun deck. Spike Rogue, um, yeah, Spike Rogue. Fighting Chance for each blocking creature, flip a coin. If you win the flip, that creature deals no combat damage this turn. Interesting. Flows. This is a very very okay. Forbid is in this set, so we get a Forbid and we get like fifty copies of it because that's how it's looking right now, then we will be good to go. Well, our 50 copies are forbid. Mog Assassin, probably not. Monstrous Hound, O for Mages. Pyro, nope, that's not Pyroclasm. This card used to also be in a starter deck. Just to give you like a concept, starter decks were really bad back in the day. Like, uh, you didn't really get much value from them because they would put cards that they knew were not very good. This is a beautiful card. Okay, Spell Shock. Okay, that's not too bad. Times like Affinity. 
during your upkeep, if you have 10 or less life, you gain one life. Uh, probably not the greatest card <laughs> in the eights. It should be like, if you have 40 or more life, gain like five life, and then it would be playable. All right, we have High Ground, Keeper of the Light, gaining the life. Limited resources, I believe this is worth some money, but I'm not positive. So I'm not gonna put it in. I mean, Peace of Mind, Pegasus Stampede, Penance, Treasure Hunter, Zealots, and Yep, more penises. So, uh, essentially, I, I believe Workhorse is worth at least a dollar a piece, and we have seven of them. I have to check that that spike used to be worthless. And that's why if you buy bulk like this, yes, you know it's shorted. Yes, I know that the probability of getting good cards is very, very slim to zero. But at the same time, something like that spike feeder like, no one is going to check for that card because it might not even be good. So let's go on to the next bunch, the next batch, and see if we can pull anything good from that. The Spike Cannibal. I mean, with all those plus one, plus one counters running around, and you have a card that costs one in double black, and it just steals everyone's plus one, plus one counters, Ooh, here we get some really cool ones. Urza Legacy, it looks like, and it looks like a Brazilian Ur Urza's Legacy. So, in Urza's Legacy, what are we looking for in Uncommon? Who knows? Ticking Gnomes, um, okay. Let's take another look at this. Uncommon Black. Oh. Engineer Plague, that's probably worth a few bucks against, you know, for casual players and whatnot. Rank and file, interesting zombie, times like a bazillion. So these are just uncommons. Um, so uncommon bulk, I believe sells for slightly more, but not like an insane amount more. Tinker, Tinker's in this set. King Crab, in case you needed like, a lot of crab, all creatures gain flying, opportunity. Raven Familiar, Flying Echo, um, Spuns, you know, Walking Spuns. So not too much in blue, but I do feel like Engineered, I do feel like that this card, Engineered Plague, is worth Bloated Toad. Oh, it's Cycling, yeah, of course. We get Cycling back. Oh, Cycling, nice. Gang of Elk, Harmonic Convergence, that's not too bad. Lone Wolf. Yeah, this is the effect that I really like where it just deals damage to the player directly. Um, whenever a spell you play is countered, draw a card. That's probably good in multiplayer. This might be worth something. This might be worth something. Because multiplayer, whenever a spell you play is countered, draw a card. But I guess they just stop countering your cards. Which is probably fine for you. Okay, let's keep looking. Ooh, we have land. Um, I, that's not the, I think the blue one's the only one worth money. Go to Fire Eater, go to War Cry. Imagine how many packs that you must have opened to get so many of the stuff and how much of the valuable cards you just have stacked away. Uh, just so much value. Uh, this card seems like it could be worth money, but I'm not positive. So I'm not gonna put it out anywhere. All right, so maybe we broke even this time, which is all we can really ask for. Knighthood, Hope and Glory, Marcher's Cause, oh, Curse, no, Cause. Okay, that card's kinda good. Peace and Quiet, Destroy Two Enchantments, Instant Speed, that's not Nah, I don't know, Learn enchantment decks, sustainability, and sustainer of the realm. So, I think we broke even for 10 bucks. I mean, I gotta check Workhorse again, but I'm pretty sure it is kind of a valuable card. Anyway guys, bye.